Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Ohigan service for 2021. Nice to have all of you here and there. I'd like to introduce you to our chairperson for today. As you can see, today our chairperson is Bear the Bear. Bear is happy to be with us this, uh, this morning. He's a little bit grumpy from sleeping all winter and just kind of getting going, but uh, he's looking forward after service to going forage on some berries and things, whatever he might be able to find out there. But he's always cautious, as you can see. He has his mask on and he's reminding each of us to continue to be careful in this pandemic uh, situation. So wear your mask to, and protect yourself and protect others and so always try to be mindful and cautious okay and on his paw you see his onenju so he is ready for service and welcomes all of us i'd like to share our service order for today we're going to have the reading of the three treasures and then the rai san mon Following this, I'll take my seat up on the altar. We'll have um, the Sambujo and the Hyobyakumon. And then we will chant the Sambujoge. So please prepare these items so you can participate in the service. Uh, first, three treasures, Rai Sanmon, and then Sambujo, Sambujoge. Nembutsu and Ekoku will complete the chanting portion of the service and then I'll come back here for our Dharma message for this Ohiyuan service. And then we will conclude with uh, thank yous and announcements and then come up to offer incense or shoko. Okay, so with that we will begin, beginning with the three treasures. Hard is it to be born into human life, now we are living it. Difficult is it to hear the teachings of the Blessed One, now we hear it. If we do not realize the truth in this life, when will it be realized? Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I take refuge in the Buddha. May we absorb ourselves in the principle of the way to enlightenment and awaken in ourselves the Supreme Will. I take refuge in the Dharma. May we be submerged in the depths of the doctrine and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. I take refuge in the Sangha. May we live in harmony in the great assembly as disciples of Buddha and be freed from all hindrances, becoming units of true accord in the life of harmony, in a spirit of universal oneness freed from the bondage of selfishness. Even through myriad ages of kalpas, hard is it to hear such an excellent, profound, and wonderful doctrine. Now we are able to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of Tathagata's teachings. Rai san mon Ninjin ukegatashi imasure ni uko Bukpo kikigatashi imasure ni kiku Kono mi konjo ni mukatte dose zumba Sarani zure no sho ni mukatte ka kono mi o dosen Daishu moro tomo ni shishin ni sambo ni kieshi tatematsu rubeshi Mizukara butsu ni kieshi tatematsu ru Masani negawaku wa shujo to tomo ni Taido taige shite mujo yo okosan Mizukara ho ni kieshi tatematsuru Masani negawaku wa shujo to tomo ni Fukaku kyozo ni irite chie umi no kotoku naran Mizukara so ni kieshi tatematsuru 
まさに願わくは主情とともに大衆を通りして一切無下ならん。無常人人未明の方は約千万号にも愛をことかたし、笑い負けんもんし従事することを得たり、願わくは如来の真実義を消し立てまつらん。ナモアミダウツ、ナモアミダウツ、ナモアミダウツ、ナマンダー、ナマンダー、ナマンダー、ナマンダー。サンブジョー、エンサンブツゲ Temple's annual observance of the spring, Higan. We are gathered together to adorn the shrine of Amida Buddha, to chant the sacred writings, and to deepen our understanding of the Buddha Dharma. During the equinox, when the hours of day and night are equal, 
the sun symbolically rises in the east and sets in the west toward the direction of the Pure Land. We gather to listen and meditate upon the teachings of the Dharma as clarified and transmitted to us by Shindan Shoni. Namo Amida Uts, Namo Amida Uts, Namo Amida Uts, Kera kuanon 
Good morning again, everyone. Nice to have all of you at this spring Ohigan service for this year. And it's always a nice time of year, isn't it? So during the calm and the balance of the spring and fall equinox, each of our uh, Ohigan services, we're encouraged to consider our spiritual path, the harmony surrounding us, seasonal change, days and nights of equal length, and generally there's mild weather. And this makes it conducive to meditate and to contemplate the balance and harmony within ourselves as well as outside of us in nature. So we consider the path of moving from this shore of samsara to the other shore of nirvana. And this is what we are reminded of each Ohigan service to move from this life to an enlightened life, from this shore of imperfections and limitations to the other shore of infinite wisdom and compassion, the realm of the Buddha. And how do we get that? How do we get there? We're encouraged to remind ourselves, study, guide ourselves with the six paramitas or the six perfections. And these are generosity, moral conduct, patience, diligence, contemplation, and wisdom. So these are our guides to live the life towards, towards an enlightened life. Just a couple weeks ago, we had our BCA National Council meetings, and I always try to make a point to bring this up during our Dharma talks, uh, service talks, because I want our members, everyone, to recognize uh, the work that goes on 
I'm always so impressed with the work and the efforts that goes on to running the Buddhist Churches of America organization, all the committees, there's so many. Examples are the Endowment Foundation, the Social Welfare Committee, that looks for you know, needs not only here but around the world where things have happened, uh, earthquake and tsunami and conditions where, where funds that we can provide can do a big, uh, be, become a big asset to the struggles that are going on in other portions of the world. Youth uh, programs, scholarships for our students, and then there are organizations, our VWA, national level, um, Dharma school teachers, Boy Scouts, youth programs, all of these things. And we have our graduate program, the Institute of Buddhist Studies, the Center for Buddhist Education, the Jodo Shinchu Center, and the budget to run all these programs, and it goes on and on and on. And from our temples and our districts, people come from all over the United States and they work so hard, not just to keep things going, but to help BCA and our temples thrive through, there's always difficult times and difficult conditions to maneuver through, but they all put in this effort. And then when I look at each of our temples, at the temple level, it's the same thing. We have fundraisers, study classes, services, people are taking care of the grounds, groundskeepers, mowing lawns, trimming bushes, taking care of gardens or whatever we may have, Zoom meetings and on and on and on, so many things. And again, when I look at the, our temple members running all these things and keeping things going and encouraging each other to come to our meetings and, and help and help and help and, and again I'm always so impressed the conscientious conscientious efforts and concerns that everyone seems to have it's not like one of us says hey guys let's practice the six paramitas you know we don't hear that but that's exactly what is happening you just watch during a national council meeting or at the temple bazaars at each temple, or at any kind of activity going on, and you will see generosity, proper conduct, patience, diligence, contemplation, wisdom, at different levels, but these are all in action in every group, every meeting, every food booth, and all our things that are going on, every service, everything that happens at our temples, at the national level, at the temple level, local level, all these things are occurring, okay? So as we are doing what we do, if we begin to think that we're doing really great work in our practice of the six paramitas, then we don't need the Buddha. On our Nimbutsu path, we strive for a life that reflects these qualities of the Buddha, while at the same time being watchful of our self-importance and our self-concern coming up and taking over. And this is our Nimbutsu path. We make effort without arrogance. And so it's not like we have to make these six paramitas perfect and then announce that we have become a Buddha but we strive and we strive and this is our path that we take and, and in this we practice and continue with our friendships and our concern with our fellow Sangha members. Everyday life is our practice and we do everything, whether it's with family, friends, work, temple, the same six paramitas, our practice and practice throughout the year and this is what we do. For Higantan, we look a little bit more closely. Maybe we have the time to look a little bit more closely and see how we're doing, making sure that we are not getting so self-important, so self-concerned in continuing with this very mindful uh, practice of the six paramitas. So thank you very much for joining us for this Ohigan service. 
very nice always to have you here and there joining us. Let us conclude with the Nimbutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Okay, so this will conclude our Ohikan service. Please come up here or there to offer incense, pebbles, flower petals, rocks, marbles, however you have set up your incense at home and, and come up and make your offerings. Okay, let us conclude with the Nembutsu. Namo Amidots, Namo Amidots, Namo Amidots, Namo Ando, Namo Ando. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Namanda, 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 